City optimistic on stocks for the full year 2024, but not without some expected turbulence. Here with the details is Yahoo Finance's very own Madison Mills. Madison. Well, later we're going to talk about Larry Ellison speaking at my graduation because I have some stories about that. But first we'll talk about this city note. Uh, The headline here is don't chase the rally, but get in on the pullback. They're saying that this rally we're seeing towards the end of 2024, it may not have legs heading into next year. And that's because we might see some softening due to some volatility around what the Fed might be doing next. They say that you can't uh, anticipate anticipate the expected movements around, you know, the markets responding to the macro movements the way they have traditionally, because we're in such a weird environment right now, you guys, as we talk about all the time here. So in terms of how this impacts their price targeting, they are lowering their mid-year target from 5,000 down to 4,800. They're still keeping their end of year target at 5,100. The options market has an implied move there for the end of the year at 4,800. So a little bit more bullish uh, than that year end target from the options market perspective, but the big news here, lowering that mid-year target to anticipate some Fed moves softening. Yeah, it's interesting because it fe- felt like things were sort of coalescing around 5,000 or towards the upper end there from most of the strategists on the street. You know, you've been reading a lot of notes. We've been reading a lot of notes. Did this one feel less optimistic in tone? Well, it is, right? I mean, it's a push down and kind of a hedge for them that the first half of the year, okay, guys, maybe that first half of the year is not going to be so great, but we're going to have that rally in the second half of the year. I also thought that it was interesting that they did have that optimism still around uh, broadening outside of that Magnificent Seven. A lot of these notes, people have been talking about the small caps, the Russell. Uh, They just say, just go into the equal weighted S&P. We don't need to do anything crazy to broaden out our portfolios, just maybe diversify into to the equal weighted S&P 500 to start getting a little bit more exposure into those smaller cap names. But it certainly is an admission that the first half of next year is not going to be uh, this fantastic ride due to Fed uh, loosening, I should say. And the big headline from them in the second half of the note, too, they say, be careful what you wish for and expect the unexpected. Mm. Any like when, when they talk about macro complications for yeah. next year, what do they call out, Madison? They talk about the election. They talk about how there's you know always risk in an election year, even though we know that election years typically are good for the stock market. They also talk about geopolitical risks. Um, They mentioned that fiscal restraint heading into 2025 could also be an issue. They talk about higher taxes potentially weighing on the stock market and that that could have an implication for profit margins coming up in earnings calls. Um, One other thing, too, is that on the disinflation picture, they mentioned that disinflation could be bad for profit margins, which I always find to be such a fascinating catch-22, because if I see disinflation, I feel like I'm going to be swiping the credit card even more. But if we're in a recession, obviously that's not going to happen. So it's just a tough balance to walk. Pricing pressure, maybe pressure on margins too as a result. Okay. What was the Larry Ellison advice for, for in the graduation speech? He talked about um, going through changes in his marriage and how that oh, related really? to um, ownership of yeah. his boat and that that was uh, important for us to note the rocky ships of life as we entered the workforce in 2016. So, I mean, it was very impactful That was not what I was me. expecting. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was yeah. not it. It made like an impact. It. She remembers Obviously. it. I mean, all of us related to having a boat sure, sitting there sure, and, sure. and getting sure. and getting a divorce and getting a divorce so it was um yeah it changed my life Good Good bring it home making it relevant <laughs> exactly that's why he's called in maddie mills thank you so much for that thank you